Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI All Achievements Wander. This is episode, I think, 63. Alright, so let's talk to this guy here and start our quest, side quest here. Because we are now going to teleport to Golopolis where we actually need to complete this side quest. We'll get the, uh, uh, what he wants here. So let's go zoom. And at this point in the game, you should have Golopolis City already on the zoom. So let's teleport right there. And a cutscene should play once we teleport to town. So the rumors were true. Erdwin's lantern descends towards Galopolis. <sighs> and they say it began when Yggdrasil fell and darkness covered the land. But why? What is happening to our world? Erdwin's Lantern, eh? Back in Dundrasil, we had a legend that after Erdwin defeated the Dark One, he ascended to the skies as a star, so he could watch over Erdria for all eternity. That was one of Eleanor's favorite stories. And I always thought it was just that, a story. But now I'm not so sure. I mean, if the Lord of Shadows' rise caused Erdwin's lantern to descend... <sighs> Are you even listening, laddie? Oh, <laughs> charming. Well, I can share my musings with you again if you'd like. Heard everything you needed to hear, did you? All right then. Well, I suppose this is no time to be standing around pontificating. The lantern's on course to crash straight into this fair kingdom. We'd best go and see what the Sultan thinks of all this, eh? So before we continue with the story, we're actually going to finish the side quest first. So let's head, here's the stables right over here. And we just want to head to this house that's attached to it. Okay, now we want to go upstairs. Talk to the butler here. So we're gonna have to zoom right to the Mango Grove campsite. Here we are. All right, let me go inside the hut here. Or the book was inside the hut, right? This is it. I think this is it. Yes, that's it. Okay. So that was it. Now we want to zoom back to Arborea and claim our reward. Hello, good sir. I am just claiming my reward. Thank you very much. Now give me my recipe book. Because I need all the recipes for an achievement. Things to do with metal goo. Hmm. Things to do with metal. Oh my god. Oh. Metal slime swords, metal grid swords, metal goomerangs, metal slime spears, metal slime shields, metal slime helms, metal suits of slime armor. Oh god. Oh god. That's a lot of plus threes we have to get for an achievement. So many recipes. Oh my god. The next thing we have to do is teleport right back to Galapagos City again. And we have to make sure it's it's daytime if it's not already. Okay guys, when you're done browsing in town, let's head right to the Sultan's Palace. And we're also going to be doing a gold, the uh, gold cup for horse racing. But that's going to be next episode. Because I think this this episode might go on for a little bit longer than, than I think. So then I'd like it to. So let's head up and talk to the king here. My boy, please! Your reckless heroics will get you killed! Fear not, father! I will take all necessary precautions! By the time I return, the mystery of the star will be solved and Galopolis will be saved! Ah, it is you. 
Thank you once again for all you did for my son. I... What in the name of the... Surely this cannot be! It's been a while, eh, your majesty? Years, in fact. I haven't seen you since the colloquy of kings and the disaster that followed. Lord Robert, please, you must listen. What we were told about the Luminary was false. He is not the spawn of the darkness after all. Alas, we were all deceived by King Carnelian. We allowed the world to be destroyed. We brought this disaster upon ourselves. Oh, come on, your majesty. We can hardly be blamed. This is Mordigan's doing. He's the one who possessed King Carnelian and caused all this chaos. This is down to him and no one else. Lord Robert. Now, listen. We need to talk about that star. If Erdwin's lantern falls much further, Galopolis is done for. What do you know about it? Sadly, very little. I have tasked my finest scholars with investigating its origins, but they have discovered nothing. Uh, there is one thing that may be of interest. My son Faris claims to have been able to make out runes on the surface of the barrier that surrounds the star. Runes, eh? This is the first I've heard of a barrier surrounding the lantern, let alone anything being written on it. Was your lad sure of this? He certainly appeared to be. In fact, he has taken one of our most learned scholars to the Celestial Sands in order to investigate the runes more closely. It is there that we believe the star will make its landing. I see. Reckon we'd better go and take a good look at these runes ourselves, eh? Shall we head out after the Prince? It would put my mind at ease if you would, Lord Robert. I cannot help but worry about him being abroad in such dangerous circumstances. Ah. Hmm. You have my thanks. I will instruct the guards to permit you passage through the checkpoint. Journey safely. All right, guys, so let's teleport to the southern part of Globalis campsite. Okay, so from the campsite, we're just gonna head all the way west, and we're gonna reach the guard. He's gonna be blocking our path, but we have we now have access to enter here, so we'll be able to get through. No, 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 you agreed to do this. Come, we must move closer. We cannot hope to read the runes from here. But, your highness, I am sorry. It is too dangerous. I'm afraid I must refuse. Do you have a means of deciphering the symbols without entering the celestial sands? Well, no, but... Oh, Principu! Hello, darling. Long time no see. Silvando! Uh, what an uh, unexpected pleasure. The Sultan said you were out here in the scary sands trying to read runes of a falling star. Huh. Guess you grew up to be quite the brave boy, hmm. Ah, I am simply doing my duty to my people. But what about you? <laughs> what brings you to the sands? The same thing as you, your highness. We have come to investigate Erdwin's lantern. Sir Hendrik? THE Sir Hendrik? Ah, oh, the hero of Heliodor, here in my kingdom! You know who I am, your highness? But of course! You are my hero! You are every aspiring knight's hero! To serve under your command is my life's ambition! I am honored, your highness. The courage you have shown in venturing out here suggests that you would make a fine knight, wherever or whomever you serve. Truly, you have no idea how much your words mean to me. Oh, thank you, from the bottom of my heart. 
Sorry to butt in, Your Highness, but might I ask how your investigations are going? You were looking a wee bit frustrated back there when we arrived. Indeed I was, old man. That fool of a scholar is too frightened to accompany me any further into the sands. I am not one for learning. The symbols will mean nothing to me, which leaves me in quite a predicament. Well, I think I might be able to help out there, if you'll allow me. You are some manner of wizened ancient? Excellent! I would be very much obliged. The runes can be best seen from the ruins in the center of the sands. Meet me there! Okay, so since we're coming up to a new area, be sure to update your vestry if you need to. I am switching out Jade for Henrik, and I'm gonna switch out Eric. Uh, a swap position, sir. Henrik, right beside the hero. Eric in the third slot. Should be, should work well. Um, what was that? Oh, I fought that thing already. Uh, what haven't I fought yet? Oh, we're gonna have to go to the northern. So we do have all sparky spots, but we have to go to the northern campsite. Just missing two monsters, and that's it. But before we uh, proceed with the main story here, let's go rest at the northern campfire, so we can get our teleport here. Okay, so I've just updated my beat. I've just updated my beast three with all the monsters in this region, and now I am going. Oh shoot! Wow, I didn't. I thought I could run that over. I guess not. And now I'm gonna head over to uh, start the main story here. Okay, so right at the stone henches is uh, the prince lying down on the ground. We have to go right up to him to st start the next part of the story. Oh, taking a nap, Principal. And there was me thinking you'd come to investigate the lantern. Oh, truly, it is even more magnificent when one lies directly beneath it. How many can say that they have seen such glories up close? You're a special one, darling. Don't go changing, hmm? What are these ruins, anyway? And how come they're out here all on their own in the middle of the desert? Huh? Oh, they have been here forever. Since the age of our grandfather's grandfathers, or some such nonsense. They were built for something very important, I just know it. <gasps> Ooh, maybe some kind of stage. <gasps> what a place to perform, can you imagine? You weren't wrong about the runes, your highness. I can definitely see some on the side of the lantern. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Hmm. Yeah. Are you okay, honey? You were talking to yourself, and we all know what that means. What's happening? 
The Lantern! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's falling! It's falling! It's falling! We're gonna be squished! Robert, it is not safe here. We must fall back. Oh, give me a minute, will you? I think I can make out what the runes are saying. Ka-las-mos. Please, Lord Robert, it is too dangerous. What is this? What is happening? Sword of Shadows. The lantern. It has disappeared. The star was named for Erdwin, but can such an ominous phenomenon truly be the work of heroes? Was the foul creature wielding the sword not. Uh, that was no foul creature, Sir Hendrik. That was the savior of Galopolis. He spared us all from the falling star. Hmm. hmm. The kingdom is saved. My people will surely thank me when I bring them the good tidings. I must return to the city and spread the news. Come and find me at the palace if you need me. <laughs> yes! Kalasmus. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. What could that mean? Hmm, why don't we go ask the Sultan? It's his kingdom, maybe he knows something. Hmm? Hmm. Okay guys, so we're gonna have to teleport to Galopolis city and head right to the Sultan Palace to start a new cutscene. It is a relief to see you safe, my friends. When the star shattered, I could not help but fear the worst. Faris has explained all that came to pass out upon the sands. It seems a savior appeared and destroyed the lantern before it could lay waste to my kingdom. Aye. Though, I wouldn't go calling him your savior just yet. Anyway, never mind that now. There's something I want to ask you, your majesty. The runes on the barrier around the star, they spelled out a word, Kalasmus. Does that mean anything to you? Kalasmus? Hmm. Sadly, it does not. Well, if it was written in the side of a star, you can bet it means something. Something important. Hmm. Yeah, but we can't go letting it distract us too much. Mordigan's not going to defeat himself. We've work to be getting on with. Lord Robert, your quest to defeat the Lord of Shadows is a noble one. The people of Galopolis will be proud. 
praying for your success. Yes, and if there is ever anything you require, you need only ask. After all, I still owe you a favor. Oh, I clean forgot. We need to ask the Sultan about that hammer that used to belong to Erdwin. Is there something I can help you with, Lord Robert? As a matter of fact, there is. I need to pick your brains about a giant hammer that's supposed to be kept here in Galopolis. We're going to need it to defeat Mordigan, and apparently, you lot have had it since the Age of Heroes. Hmm. The giant hammer, you say? Ah, oh, yes! You mean the forging hammer? It has been in the royal family for generations. Ferris, fetch the forging hammer from the treasure room. Hmm. This is it. This is Erdwin's hammer. The one we saw in the vision. Father, do you truly intend to give the hammer away? We had intended to sell it in order to fund this year's San Nation... <gasps> Silence! Insolent boy! <clears throat> the forging hammer is one of Galopolis's greatest treasures. It has been handed down through the generations since time immemorial. But if we must relinquish it, then so be it. You are the only ones who can defeat the Lord of Shadows. If you need it, it is yours. My nurse once told me that the power of the spirit of the land resides within the forging hammer. It is said that it can beat even the hardest of metals into shape. At least, I think that is how the story goes. Well, I hope it helps you on your quest. Best of luck, dear friends. I shall be expecting good news. Okay guys, so let's head out of the palace. We are now going to start the last side quest in Act 2. And then we'll have all the side quests complete for Act 2 at least. I don't know if there's any more in Act 3, we'll have to find out once I get there. Okay, so that's side quest, I'm just gonna head there right now. It's actually just right in front of us, I'm just going all the way around here. And talk to this guy. Start quest, a little bit of lantern. Alright, so this quest is super fast to do. We're just gonna teleport right to the north of Galopolis campsite. Gonna grab a horse and we're gonna go grab the item he, he wants and teleport right back. That's it. Alright, so grab the horse from the northern campsite and we're gonna go all the way down around to the very end here. Um, this is your chance to update the base tree if you haven't already done so. If you're trying to complete it. If you're not trying to complete the base tree, I, I don't think it's an achievement. It's just uh, for completionist purposes. If you're into that. Alright, I'm just running everything over, trying to make it to the very end here. Uh, oh! Cantor Attacker, a word for sending 150 or more monsters flying while right amount. Okay. Here's the item right here. Grab that lantern shard. And we're gonna teleport right back to Glo Glopolis and claim our reward now. Okay, turning my quest in right now here, getting my reward. And quest complete. A little bit of a lantern. So we gotta get evolutions for that, three of them. And that's all the side quests, we're at two complete now. And I'm gonna end this episode here. In the next episode, we're actually gonna start the gold cup for Galopolis while we're here. So I'll see you in the next episode. And thanks for watching.